to do, we're going to use expand, one instance of expand, to create a beat that's four tracks with four distinct sounds. All right, and all I have right now is an open session. I've inserted expand on a stereo, or I've created a stereo instrument track on which I'm going to insert expand. And remember that um, when you load up expand, it defaults to this bright pad called Beneath the Waves. Now, this part, this is called a part, this whole uh, row here, part A, then there's part B, part C, and part D. Beneath the Waves is a single part sound, but you can come to a whole bunch of different instruments, like the Woody Fretless, and it's actually a combination of two different sounds with some different panning effects and, and levels. Um, so let's listen to this bass for a second. If I turn off the percussive, or if I turn off the fretless, so together, they're a better sound than the individual parts. Um, if I were to come up to say multi track arpeggios and try this car chase, for example, you see World Beat 104, which is a loop, some thunder drums, a synth bass, another loop. But remember, this is actually four different unique sounds there's the loop, there's the thunder drums, which are pretty cool sounding. There's that bass, foot to the floor, and another loop, all right? So together, they make everything. And that's kind of what we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna change it up. All right, so I'm just gonna put this back to the factory default for now. The next important thing that we're gonna talk about, at least in Expand, are these ones that are in this MIDI column. These are the MIDI channel. Expand allows you to work with four MIDI channels. Uh, typically, back in the day when we were, used hardware, and for many, many different instruments, you get 16 MIDI channels. But each uh, version of Expand, each instance, can carry four discrete MIDI channels. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of jump ahead here and change these MIDI channels to be sequential from one to four. So we're going to have part one, part two, part three, part four. I can go ahead and change those um, or create them. Uh, so besides just loading up sounds from the presets, you can also click into this part window and choose individual sounds. Um, they are the components that make up those uh, presets, especially the stacks that are um, multiple parts. Uh, I'm going to choose a loop uh, for part one. For part two, I'm going to go into electric pianos. Choose the mark two. I'll put a bass in here. Uh, how about a synth bass? A basic thump and a lead. Why not a soft lead? The wine maker. All right. So remember, each one of these now has a unique MIDI channel. If I were to play this right now, we're only going to hear the loop. because that one is set to channel one, and this instrument track defaults to communicate with MIDI channel one. A little bit more on that in a bit. If I change these all back to channel one, then you hear all of them. All right. Let's put these back to being unique and discrete. All right, so how are we gonna get these four different sounds onto our edit window um, in a way that they're, we can edit them separately and things like that. The answer to that is easy. We're going to create some new tracks. They're not audio, they're not aux, they're not master fader, they're not instrument track, MIDI track. All right, and we are going to make four of them. And you'll notice that when I changed it to MIDI track, it got rid of our mono and stereo option. And that's because MIDI carries no sound. So it doesn't know from stereo or mono. It only knows I'm going to send some data, some on and off information, some notes and rhythms and velocities and other, and other information 
to expand to play back the notes that I want. So I'm going to create these. I'm going to go ahead and name them quickly. Drums, which is the loop that I put in there. Uh, keys for the electric piano, bass, and lead. All right, so how am I going to get these to communicate with expand? Let's look at our mix window. Remember that the mix window, and check out this, there's no inserts. I can't insert an instrument on a MIDI track. I can't send because there's no sound, just data. So we need to make a connection so that this MIDI track will communicate with channel one of uh, expand. I want to get the keys to communicate with channel two, the bass to communicate with channel three, and the lead to channel four. We do that in the I.O. All right, so even though my output says MPK Mini, that is my MIDI keyboard. Yours will say something different. It's still the I.O. It's still the O of I.O., so it's the output. And we're going to change that. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go to Expand Channel 1. Extend, expand Channel 2 for our keys. Expand Number 3. And Expand Channel 4. So now, if I put this drum track into Record Enable, I'm triggering the drum sound. The keys, the bass. Okay. What's important to remember, though, is even though you see some dancing VUs here, the sound is all coming out of this expand track, the instrument track. And that has some limitations to it. I'm trying to teach you this to understand how to do it. I actually would recommend that we not use expand this way because we can just make more instrument tracks. This is going to be critical for um, other understanding, uh, some other things that we do. Understanding this is going to be critical to some other things that we do. All right, so now let's go ahead and make some music. Uh, three, four, two. for four measures. One, two, three, four. Oops. All right. I'll fix this just because I can. And hopefully it doesn't take me very long. Done is done. Okay. And now put the keys into record ready. Let's go. Forget about the mistakes, I'm not going to fix them. Bass, here we go. Leave it at that. Lead. So what do we have? We have four sounds, four tracks. If I mute these, at least now I can listen to them individually, right? Now, back when I started uh, doing this stuff with MIDI tracks or MIDI uh, applications, programs, you would do this because the computers couldn't keep up and I couldn't have 15 or 20 expand tracks. You can now. I'm going to say it again because I'll say it again. Uh, I typically wouldn't recommend, oh, I'm going to make these, you know, um, use expand with four MIDI tracks and then I'll make another expand with four more MIDI tracks. It's cool. It's an important concept to understand how to route MIDI channels to instruments. But here's the major drawback. All the sounds are coming out of here out of the expand instrument track. So if I want to say um, 
process the sound with maybe a delay. Well, that's happening to all of my sounds. My drums are going through the delay. The piano's going through the delay. I have no control over that stuff. So learn how to do this because we're going to be using it for other purposes. It's easy to understand with Expand, and there you have it.